All right, everyone, the Democratic Party has signaled that it might drop the impeachment bullshit, which is all it ever was. For a lot of them, it was always just an act. The progressives want impeachment. The Pelosi sort of neolibs within the Democratic Party, you know, the ones that actually draw in the multi-billions of dollars the Democratic Party pisses away every year on cocaine and strippers and stuff, uh, uh, those people don't want to impeach Trump. No, because they know that they can't. The House has the votes to impeach him, but if it were to go forward and they were to refer charges, you know, however spurious to the Senate, the Senate would be like, what do you expect us to do? Number one, it's controlled by Republicans. It'll have at least one and possibly two, although that's now looking possibly iffy with that special election there. Uh, one or two extra seats over what it had before. Um, Trump gets, you know, any Supreme Court justices that he wants. If Ginsburg, you know, keels over from complications from her fractured ribs there or whatever the fuck it was, bruised ribs, and she fell in her office there, uh, yeah, it's a, the Senate is Republican. What do you expect them to do? They're going to say, okay, we're abandoning Donald Trump now. We're just going to let you impeach him and implode our own party. We're going to alienate a third of the party that's, that's, you know, Trump populists, that are dedicated Trump populists, possibly 40% at this point. We're going to alienate all of them. We're going to alienate the business Democrats, probably fuck the economy, by the way, in the process, and give you President Mike Pence. Now, think about it this way. For all of the uh, bluster about, well, never could have believed that Donald Trump would actually ever be our president. It's like the most crazy American thing ever. Can you imagine a president, Mike Pence? Trump is believable in the role. Yes, he's, he's astute, uh, a successful individual, sometimes well-spoken, doing a good job in the economy. What's Mike Pence known for? Mike Pence is known for being unwilling to be alone with a female other than in his, uh, you know, if his wife is right there, he'll be around other women. Otherwise, he feels uncomfortable about it. He's like Mr. Rogers, the evangelical version. That's really what Mike Pence is. He also looks a little bit too unnervingly like George W. Bush. Like, literally, his physical features are, are too Bush-like for me. I don't like the dude. I, I was very upset when Mike Pence was chosen. It's like, in retrospect, it didn't sink his campaign, but it's like, for a while there, I refused to support him until Gary Johnson was already imploding. At that point, it's like, well, it's a little bit of a farce. Mike Pence is an evangelocon. He's, he's certainly not a populist, maybe in a few ways, but basically he's just George W. Did the Democrats really want a President Mike Pence? What are you going to do, then impeach him too? And then, it, well, what are you going to have, uh, President Nancy Pelosi? Is that the whole idea? Pelosi would love the job, although I think she likes being the, the, the Speaker of the House more. <clears throat> By the way, I've got a little bit of a frog in my throat this morning. The weather is getting towards that point of year where it's cold and fucked up and I really hate it. Uh, but they're dropping the impeachment thing now, much to the chagrin and dismay of the far left. Because they never intended to impeach, but the far left never intended to let the issue go. They do want to campaign for the next two years on removing Donald Trump from office because their constituents demand it. You see, all the, the Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez and so forth in the party, and even some of the Maxine Waters sort of missing links within the party, now between the, the old guard neoliberals and the progressives, people that are trying to straddle that line, they want to be aggressive. The problem is they've lied to their constituents and told them it's actually possible to remove Trump. Their, st their constituents are going to be absolutely ass-blasted when the Mueller probe culminates. They're going to demand every other investigation at the House level. The problem for the Democrats, of course, is the DNC's leadership doesn't want to do that. They know it's suicidal. It's, it'll make them go Benghazi mode. But the far left will demand it. And they might leave the party high and dry and start attacking it and, and shattering it from within if they don't give them a bone. So what they're going to have to do is subpoena a bunch of shit that inevitably isn't going to lead to an indictment anyway and make the Democrats look stupid. Make it look like they're wasting time. That Their platform... Uh, the far left wants the platform to be impeach 45 or whatever. Impeach Drumpf. He's a bad person. Too many scoops of fucking ice cream. His hands are too small. His cock supposedly has a mushroom head or whatever. All this weird stuff that you hear about him. Uh, and, and they want to impeach him. But none of the stuff that you know that he's done is impeachable. Most of it happened long, like the Stormy Daniels payment. It happened before the race began, before he signed papers. Not illegal. Dubious? Yeah. Maybe so, you know, it's a you know, classic uh, big business tycoon, had an affair, and uh, covered it up by paying the person a bunch of money that they weren't actually ultimately worth and shouldn't have probably bothered. That's uh, certainly what happened, but it's not illegal for that to happen, which oddly, oddly enough, it's basically like high-level high prostitution for the rich and famous that somehow isn't illegal. It is a little bit odd, but, you know, it's not on the books. 
Yeah, you can pay someone hush money. You can have them sign an NDA and pay them a bunch of money. Don't tell anybody about my profuse Yeti pews, says Donald Trump, as he hands her a hundred grand. Uh, no, but <laughs> I mean they can't impeach him for it. It's not an impeachable offense. He wasn't president at the time. He wasn't even candidate Trump at the time. The New York Times, I think it was, or CNN, one of those two rags, was reporting on it as though he was already a candidate officially in the race, having signed off the paperwork to conform to election law. But he hadn't yet, and so they fucked themselves. They never apologized. I think it was CNN, which explains the non-apology. Or maybe they ran it on page three and then quickly knocked it down and nobody ever saw it, and so people just assume they never apologized. No, but they're not going to impeach him. Uh, if, if they did, let, let's say, okay, let's give a, maybe a 5% chance they impeach Trump. But there's a 0% chance of removing him from office because the impeachment won't hold up in the subsequent Senate proceedings. The Senate will almost immediately say no, and we're not going to remove him from office. He'd never have the votes anyway. A lot of Democrats would defect to say this. What do you think Joe Manchin would do at this point? He wouldn't vote in favor. You'd end up with some, all Republicans would vote no, along with some Democrats. It would fracture the party, crush it, Trump wins 2020. Hell, he probably gets a mandate before the election happens, soars to 50-55% approval because his opponents start looking totally fucking stupid. Though The whole thing is, one thing that's keeping Trump's approval lower, ironically, is the fact that the Democrats are slightly amorphous. They're a little bit like what the right wing was early on in the last election. I spoke of this in a mimetic sense, in a propagandistic sense, the fact that the new right was an amorphous blob of different ideologies and didn't have a leader, didn't have any main central figures, or rather had a large proliferation of you know, lesser main figures, made it impossible to attack. Because you'd try to, you, you know, they'd try, it'd be like punching a bucket of water. It's not gonna work very well. It didn't work, it was a total fucking Bruce Lee mode. Once it began to solidify around certain cults of personality, then it begins to fall apart. There are still uh, proportions of it that are still amorphous, which, by the way, is to their benefit. It should stay that way if they have any sense. The left is a little bit like that. The problem uh, with having such an amorphous nature, though, is they can't form a platform. They're an establishment group. They're not some counterculture movement. They're an organized party, and they still have no leader. There's no single leader or platform in the Democratic Party. And so that's actually sapping, though, Trump's approval, because right now he's being compared to that amorphous blob instead of to an individual. That changes, though, when Pelosi officially takes hold. Then Pelosi becomes the face of the party. He's tried that with Clinton. It's somewhat successful, but she's not in an, in an actual elected position. Pelosi is. And then whoever becomes the next Democratic nominee will be who he's judged against subsequently. That means his approval will rise. This, this always happens during the elections. Uh, Obama's approval began to rise once he was being compared primarily to Romney as opposed to just generic GOP candidate insert person here. This was the Kasich effect that you saw in the last election. Kasich's big selling point. I'm the only one that beats Hillary Clinton in polling. Yes, because a lot of people just hate Clinton, but they don't know anything about you. They'd prefer the unknown quantity. Once you become, though, a known quantity, if you had become the nominee, your approval would have dropped. It would have been much closer to Clinton's, probably lower. It's the same fucking shit. It always happens in polling during elections. It's funny to see the uh, Democratic Party not even wait until Pelosi's officially in there, though, to drop the impeachment bullshit. Now, and it was, it was likely that they were going to at some point. I still hope that they try to impeach him. I think it'd be funny. Because it'll be just like when they did that to Clinton. It didn't work. It backfired in a spectacular manner, destroyed their own popularity, buffed up at the time Clinton's popularity. Didn't he gain four or five points of approval in the weeks post uh, Lewinsky impeachment? Because they didn't impeach him. They didn't impeach him for lying to Congress or any crazy shit like that. They should have removed him from office for that. Instead, they were too stuck up on the fact that he had had an affair. Nobody gave a damn though because the economy was going well. Look at the economy right now. By the way, fuel prices are now plummeting. So is Bitcoin at the moment. And I think silver prices are still down. I have silver. I have Bitcoin too. But you know, it's, it's worth less and less every day. But I'm just going to hold on to it because, like, you know, I didn't pay anything to get it. It was donated to me. I'll just pay the tax on what I received, you know. <laughs> Thank you, Chris Whalen. Uh, and then, you know, deal with it, I guess. I don't know. I'll just hold it until it's worth nothing or until it skyrockets in the opposite direction and I can actually make a profit. Now, I don't know. I'll, I'll put it towards my uh, student loans or something. That's my plan. That's about all. Peace out.